Good evening, everybody. It's actually after 9 p.m. already, and we've had a day. So Duncan's at work, obviously. Um, the day started out, and P.S. This is about to go into a monologue, so you've been warned. Uh, Linda's phone broke this morning. Super, super long story short, um, the AT&T store couldn't fix it, sent her to a fix-it place when it should have gone to Apple because it's under warranty and we've just been back and forth with customer service. Um, it hasn't, it literally took hours to get to the right person and then, anyway, I can't even do it. You know, one of those customer service things where it's just like you spent more time on it than you thought and then you're still unresolved at the end of it. That's kind of where we're at. Hi, buddy. Um, and then my My Disney Experience app wasn't working, which isn't a big deal, except I wanted to try to change my park reservation tomorrow because I'm off and I wanted to change from Epcot to Magic Kingdom because the Peter Pan float came back and I've been waiting since March to get a Peter Pan float, you know, hashtag first world problems. But anyway, um, couldn't even check to see if there was availability because or cancel my Epcot because my app wasn't working. My account was weird. Anyway, so I was on hold for an hour. Guy was super nice, fixed my account. Everything's good there. And, uh, find out that there was no Magic Kingdom reservations, which isn't a big deal, except then I realized I can't get into any park for the next two weeks, which I know, first of all, problems. Um, and I know it's because the silver annual pass lockout dates are ending and, or have ended, and it's their first day back in the park since March. It's still frustrating, um, especially when I see that resort guests and day guests um, have availability. And I've been very patient with Disney about this. I know they're dealing with a lot. I know this is the middle of a pandemic, so I'm trying to be grateful for the opportunities that we do have. Um, it's just frustrating when I've been so patient and um, we're Platinum Plus holders. And so we have the water parks, which aren't open yet. Um, and they haven't said a thing to us about what they're going to do for that. Not that I need the water parks to be open, but we pay for them. So it would just be nice to have a note saying they're working on it. So that's all frustrating. Um, but then at work today, I'm working on this special project and I just had to call some of the rudest people. And it just was draining. It was just like text after text of just not nice and it kind of got to me not that it's personal it just ugh. then um my work day ended and I tried to focus on some LuLaRoe and I just couldn't uh, I had an interview today at eight um so it was kind of fine that I couldn't focus on LuLaRoe because then I could just really focus on preparing for my interview. That went well. It, it could be a really good opportunity for me if I move on. A uh, recruiter said that I would hear back tonight because it's in a she's in a way different time zone. Um, oh, it's okay, buddy. Um, he knocked over the binders and scared him. Um, which is weird because it's it's 9 p.m. here, so to hear back on a job this late seems weird, but we're going with it. Um, so yeah, now I'm finally just done with everything and I cannot get myself to look at the computer screen again, and I really need to. So that about playing some Animal Crossing, but then I definitely am going to be done for the night, so thought I would come and update you guys. And the silver lining is... Peter Pan float is back at Magic Kingdom for when I can get there, but we may have booked a room for tomorrow. 
And because we are going to be resort guests tomorrow, I was not only able to get a Magic Kingdom reservation, um, we have a studios reservation for tomorrow, which I cannot wait. I did not think we'd be back there till September because I actually have a date for us to go in September and I didn't think we'd be able to go, but we're going to go. Oh, so, well, you're not going to go. Um, so yeah, you'll have to stay tuned to stay where we see where we stay. It's not where you think. Um, so this positivity and all of this, I just don't really have anyone to vent to right now. And I think it's okay to have bad days and it's okay to not feel productive and me just spilling it all out there just helped a lot. So if you made it through, thanks for listening. Daily Disney for Monday the 3rd from Finding Dory. When Dory was little, she and Destiny the whale shark talked to each other through the aquarium pipes of the Marine Life Institute. They were pipe pals. Now Destiny, Bailey the beluga whale, and cranky octopus named Hank are helping Dory find her parents. They're close by. He's saying the doggos. Since we won't be here tomorrow. Get her to my lap. How am I supposed to sleep? She'll move. She's on my leg. <laughs> like she's not even like in my lap. She's on my leg. Are you a cutie? She's like, Dad, I just wanted a lap, Dad. You were first. So I didn't tell him where we were going yet. So it's a oh. surprise tomorrow. Right. You know where I'm going tomorrow? Well, DMV. You know where I'm going right now? It's red. Sleepy Town. You just said that out loud. I sure did. I'm so tired. I'm getting really tired at night. I think it's this new pillow. She just burped and it smells so bad. It makes me want to be sleepy. And she's looking at you with bad breath. Oh. Oh, Gizmo. I know. Holy cow. <laughs> Told you. What is this? How did this happen? She's like, sorry, guys. She's not sorry. She doesn't care. <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep? Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming to the show. Ask for a look. I've been saying. And for a